Hello again, this is Asikar here, ready to give you another guided airship tour, this time of the pirate vessel Chimera, here in Chimera's lair, their secret pirate base. Now, let's start with the outside of the ship. As you can see, she looks very much like my Dreadnought uh, light attack ship. Well, being... well, as you can see, there's some major differences. But the bridge is on the front instead of below. Here we have the pirates being very um, inconspicuous, right? With Chimera written right across, right across the sides of the ship. Now her armament is she has uh, one forward-facing double belly turret, one rear-facing double double belly turret. The forward-facing one is where the old bridge was on the dreadnought. Now let's go up the ladder here. You can see the upper deck here and her weapons up there. Okay, starting aft and going forward, she has one single light turret, one double light turret, and another single light turret. Here we have the main gun, a stripped down battleship turret on the bow here, her most powerful armament with a range of 192 blocks. I've done some testing to be sure of that. And going down the other side, we have a single turret double turret, and another single turret in the back. And now, for some lore for you guys, this pirate vessel Chimera was built in secret at the Navy Boneyard in New Brummel. Now, eyewitnesses say when she took off, she outran the Navy pursuit ships that they sent after her, which are geared, which are like high-speed ships geared towards catching other pirate vessels. But apparently this one has a battleship turbine strapped to her stern. So she is a lot faster than she should be, <laughs> with the extended boiler, the new turbine, and the super compressors, along with their normal engines. Now we go into the ship. Note the patches in the hull, seeing as it was built in the boneyard, it was pretty old and rusted out when they found her. We go inside, we have the galley, much like the other uh, dreadnought. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Go up, have the kitchen with your sink, a stove, tap, and a refrigeration unit. Now, we go down below deck. This is a little different. We only have, you'll notice, one sick bay, because they're pirates, they really don't care much. And we have the other sick bay has been removed to make place for their weapon storage. Here we have swords, uh, harpoon guns, ammunition, and we have the various armors, all in chests. And here, much like the Dreadnought, we have the first officer's cabin. Same as the Dreadnought, desk, uh, bunk, and double chest. And the captain's cabin, pretty much the same. Had a large desk, chair, bunk, bookshelf, and a double chest. And two windows. Now, we go down below decks. Yeah, actually, no, we go down aft to the boiler room. As you can see, the boiler is extended from the original Dreadnought. It's pretty much two Dreadnought boilers stuck together because it needs to make excess steam pressure for the super compressor to run the battleship turbine. And you'll see my patented redstone reactors heating the boiler as well. Turn them on for you. Turn them off. Okay, now we go down below deck, show you the belly turrets. Here we have the aft belly turret, same as Dreadnought, just a little uh, patched together to get rid of rusty holes in the metal. Yep, just a regular dispenser turret. Go forward again. And we have the forward turret, same as the aft one, just facing forward instead. Right, go up. Again, we have the crew quarters, same as Dreadnought, pretty compact. Not much space for anybody on this ship. But that's why pirates love it, because it's small, compact, easy to fuel, and durable. Now, go through storage here. It's a little bit expanded from the original Dreadnought, because they're pirates and need more room to put things they steal. And we hit the bridge. 
Now you, you notice the bridge is different from the other one. It's tacked on from the R-37 cargo freighter, I'm going to say. That they just pretty much hacked it off the rust remains of a freighter and welded it on the front of a rusted remains of a dreadnought. <laughs> and they stuck it together and it was by either luck or, or just whatever they were doing. They, they knew they were doing that the ship held together upon takeoff. It didn't fall apart as they exited the shipyard, or the boneyard. Now, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at Chimera's Lair. That's their pirate base, hidden in my 100 meter forest. With some quick use of MC Edit's forester tool, I could whip that together pretty quick. Now, let's see, let's go forward. Let's hop off the bow here. This is the beginnings of Chimera's Lair, hidden in the 100 meter forest. Have some small buildings on the side, camouflage rooftop, and gigantic pine trees. You go all the way down to the base. This is a lake in the middle of the forest on, on my build world, by the way. Um, I'll give the coordinates uh, right now. The coordinates are here. We are X negative 1452 and Z 144. Alright, now to explain the 100 meter forest, I'm going to go with nuclear meltdown. And the radiation made the trees grow so huge. I'm going to put a couple uh, cooling towers in the middle of this lake, and that's what keeps people from going into the forest looking for the pirates, because they don't know they're there. That's why the pirates chose the forest, because the radiation has long since dissipated. But they keep the rumors going to keep the less adventurous out. Okay, and that's that for the pirate vessel Chimera. Until next time, this is Asikar signing off.